Well, in order to see a show at the Funny Bone, most of the time you have to be at least 21 years old. Most of the time. What's happening in two days is one of the occasions where you can be a bit younger. Last for Life is 18 and up, and the best part, though, we think, is the cause. It is. I love this event. From the Funny Bone, Daisy Curtis, also with us, headliner, the main guy. Chris Covey. Good to see you, Chris. Good to see you guys. Hi, Good welcome. to see you. Welcome right. you two together. <laughs> six years for this event though, right? Yes, six How does years and counting. Yeah. Um, it started with a generous boss. Um, I was doing fundraising for the American Cancer Society. I'd been a volunteer for a few years. And she said, you know, you can have the room. She. She, Colleen Quinn. Yes, mm -hmm. yes runs a funny very bone. generous. Said uh, we could have the room and then started volunteering the comics to volunteer wow. their time. And they were happy to say not no to her. <laughs> That's a freebie, Chris. Yeah, you don't say no to Colleen. It's a freebie. Yeah. No, no, you don't. Well, you do. You, so, you only do it once. So. <laughs> do, you, do you live to regret it? Um, I don't know with Colleen. You don't know. You, just, you fall off her radar. People disappear. You, yeah. And this connects mm -hmm. back to Relay for Life, though, right? Is yes. That the, yes. Relay for Life is the American Cancer Society's biggest fundraiser. Um, the American Cancer Society brings new hope to cancer patients everywhere uh, for a cure. It also mm -hmm. strikes back against the side effects of cancer, where it's the rides to treatment. Some people can't always get a ride, so they provide rides to treatment. They have a 24-hour helpline for people mm -hmm. newly diagnosed. Mm -hmm. um, they provide, uh, it's called, uh, gosh, I forgot what it's called now, but they do cosmetic changes, mm -hmm. help you with every, all the changes that happen with cancer. Well, because treatment, it wrecks, right, your skin, your hair. I mean, there are just so many things. To different aspects, financially, to. and they have different resources to help you mm -hmm. out. So it's not just finding a cure, yeah. it's dealing with the side effects. Right, it's it. the whole picture, mm -hmm. right. Relay for Life. Um, who's performing? So we've got Chris Covey headlining. Yep, Who uh, else? great lineup. Uh, Dusty Stell, uh, Heather Jones, uh, Austin Anderson, Anderson, uh, brand new guys hosting. Uh, it's his very first time, Richard Reese. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, no, he's, he's an exciting young talent. Uh, we're really, we're really excited to have him. We no, love Richard. Richard, yeah, Richard. Yeah, he's Richard's timer, amazing. Yeah. He's, he's, been a, he's an old timer. Yeah. He's young, but he's an old timer. Well, he is. I mean, he, he just he just released his second comedy special. If that yes. gives you any indication as to yeah. how. He's so. the Jetpack. What what it was the uh, Jetpack Tuxedo. That's right. Yes. yes. Richard tuxedo, is one of yeah. the sharpest dressers. Every time he comes yes. on, I always look to see good. like what's mm. Richard wearing today. Is it hard to get a lot of these comics to get involved with this event or not? Not at all. Uh, I, was, I was halfway joking when I said that if Colleen or Daisy asks you to do something at the Funny Bone, you yeah. do it. But this is a no-brainer for us. Uh, it, it's a great crowd. It's a great cause. Uh, the Funny Bone has been instrumental in helping all of us go from the local open mics to you know getting to open for you know, Jeff Dye was just here. You know the big names mm -hmm. that come through there. Uh, so we're we're really happy to give back, and we'd probably do a lot more. We would probably pay to do this show. Mm -hmm. I'm not oh, telling wow. you. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> right, it's too late. That's a whole other fundraiser. Yeah, write down the agreement. <laughs> yeah. You should auction off the headliner spot. Well, See who's that's that's great. Great. Whoever gives me the most money there gets to go. have it. That's a great segue, Chris. I can see your hosting is paying off here because you've right. got auction items, you've got raffles. So what do you have yes. lined up this year, Daisy? That you're um, excited about? Omaha beef tickets, Lancers hockey tickets. Um, we have a Ninja coffee bar system, mm -hmm. Shark vacuum. Funny bone passes and, and t shirts and mm -hmm. stuff, of course, but autograph things from some of the comics that have come out through the years as yeah. well. So. How, many, how many people come to this? Is this, is this, you, you um, it builds every year. Quickly? Built every year. So we started off, I think, with about 75 to 100, and each year it just increases and increases yeah. because it's a fun night for everybody and it yeah. all goes to a good cause. How did you get involved with Re Relay for Life? There must have been a connection for you years ago when you first started volunteering. There was. Um, I was working at the Cake Gallery at the time. And we had a gal that started it up, and my dad just lost my grandfather to liver cancer. Mm -hmm. So, and I was helping my mom with that and helping with my brothers to help take care of them while she took care of him. So it just became a family thing. Since then, we've lost my uncle to liver cancer and a good friend of ours, Melanie, to cervical cancer at a very young age, at just 32. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's been very personal for me to find ways to help people get through their treatments and to find treatments and to find a cure. Well, cancer affects so many people out there. It, it can't be too hard to find people to jump on board, people like Chris. And Chris, how many, for the comics out there, how much time do they get, right? Are you guys fighting over stage space here or what's going on? How much, uh, how much time no, do you I get? Mean, I'll end up going last, so I'll go until I'm out of breath. Um, I'm going to do a tight two hours. I'm planning on uh, it. Uh, no, there, there's another. Uh, I forgot Nick Allen. He's doing it, right? Yeah, yeah. Nick so, Allen. yes, oh, uh, it's the scum and villainy tour, really. Have you uh, the hosting spot for forgetting him? Yeah. No, <laughs> no I could I could feel Nick tweeting in my pocket already. He's like, you so uh, No, and it's I mean for for fans of comedy, um, you know, in addition to supporting a great cause, 
there's you know, five or six comics, I, I didn't count them all up, for like 10 bucks. You can't get yeah. that anywhere. And these aren't, I was teasing about Richard being the, the new guy. I mean, these are all comics that are touring around and mm -hmm. have specials and have won awards. I mean, yeah. it, it's going to be a really dynamite lineup. It's a, it's a big night. Okay, yeah. so if you want to get tickets, there are a couple ways to do it. You can call to get them. You can also log on to funnyboneomaha.com. Last for life, it's this Wednesday night. Doors open at 6. Show begins at 7.30, but they always say, like, get there a little bit early. Uh, make sure your bottom's in the seat. That way it can show, um, start right on time. And again, this is 18 and up, so a uh, good chance to get some of your, like, adult kids <laughs> who aren't quite 21 yet into the show. Yeah, sure. Guys, thank Daisy, you. Daisy, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, and Chris mentioned uh, another comedian, Jeff Dye.